Hello everyone. Today we will solve lead code problem one eight two three. Problem name is find the winner of a circular game. So we will understand this problem by you know, using one example. So let's assume here we have one circular array. Also we have given one integer k, and we have to you know delete that that kth integer. So if we starting from here, then now let's assume k is two. So then one and two. So now we have to delete two. After that. One and two, then we have to delete four, then we have to delete one, then then five, and you know like that. And whenever we have only one element in our array, we have to return that one element. So this is the problem statement. Now let me enable dark mode here. Yeah. So now we will solve this problem. So first of all, what we have to do. we have to find the index you know now let's assume if the value of k is is greater than length in that scenario we have to change the value of our index so for that part we can do we have to get the index so get index here we have our current index okay along with steps how many steps we we can do at a particular time and also our length Now here, now our new index will be new index is equal to current index plus steps minus one, and we are doing here steps minus one because we want index, not the length of you know the new array. If our k is two, now let's assume the steps is two and the current index is zero, so then we will get one here, and you know here also we are getting only one, so this is. so we have to you know reduce minus 1 from here now if our new index is greater than equal to our length then we have to return new index you know we have to return the reminder and we will use length here and then return new index so like that we can get the index of any array using current index steps and the length of that particular array here we have to uh, you know Write one more function get answer. Now, as we can see here, that we are doing this perform recursively. Each in each iteration, we are deleting some item. Also, the length of our array is reducing, and the index also reducing. So that's why you know we have to write a function, and then we can, we we will call that function recursively. So here in this function, we have our array and also index. Here we will find out the length of our array, and if our length is one, then we can simply return array of zero, because now we don't need to you know call this function again. In the else condition, first of all we have to pop that element from our our array, that particular index value we will have. Then now here we will got new array. You know, if we the size of array is five, now we will have the size of array is four. So now we have to call this function again, our get answer function, in that we have new array. Okay, new array will be a r r, and also we have new index. So for that we will use our get index function here. So get index, in that we will have our current index. along with how many steps and the length will be length minus 1 because we reduced one element here from our our array okay so this is our second function that name is get answer and we are calling it recursively in the end we have to return our answer so for that we can call our function get answer okay here in the initial stage our array will be for uh, i for i in range of 1 to n plus 1 and also we have our index so here also we have to use the get index function here our initial is index is 0 this is the steps and also the length of our array is n so as we can you know see that we wrote all the code now we will run it and we will find it out that it is running pro properly or not yeah as you can see that all test cases are passed now let's try to submit it 
yeah it 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 run you know it passed all the test cases and all the hidden test cases so as we you know we have a, a problem statement in that in each iteration we have to remove one item so first of all the first problem is that we have to find out the index for that we wrote one function you know get index in this second thing in each iteration we are reducing one item so for that also we have to write one more function for that we wrote get answer function and then we used get answer function to you know get the answer so like that we can solve this problem and if you find any difficulty in this solution then you can comment your problem in the comment section and also if you want to get the solution of some other problem then also you can you know comment the problem number or name in the comment section thank you for watching this video